Hi guys, Fuxmo here, bringing you a 2D intro tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to make a simplified version of my intro, which you just saw, and I'm play it again just in case you don't know how it looked. So as you can see on this intro, it's got a animated image playing behind the text, which then fades into the final text, and it's got my URL as well as this kind of burst effect you see. And it's also got some sound effects on, which I won't be showing you how to do, but it's kind of easy to do anyway. So for this, you're going to need Photoshop and Sony Vegas. I have CS6 and Sony Vegas 12, it doesn't really matter what version you've got, I'm pretty sure you can do what I'm going to be doing today in any other version. So in Photoshop, you're going to want to make a new layer. We're going to make a total of four layers, and in the first one, you want to rename this background. So this is literally just going to be the background, and you just want to fill it with a color that you like. I've chosen this sort of dark grey. You're then going to want to make a new text layer and put whatever text you want to be. So, in my one, I had Pugismo HD. In this one, I'm just going to put tutorial because this is a, just a tutorial. You don't want to put any effects on this. You just want to make sure it's, it doesn't really matter about the colour because this is what's going to be used to cut out of the background to make a mask. But I'll get into that later. So, this is just going to be how the text looks. You want to choose a nice wide font, you want something like this, this is called American Captain if you're wondering. Something like Agency FB, you don't want, because it's quite a thin font, you want quite a broad fat font. The next thing you want to do is duplicate this, so you can do that by pressing Ctrl J. And then you want to add some effects to it. You cannot move these layers, if you move these layers, it will mess up the whole thing and these need to be directly on top of each other. So on the new duplicate layer you want to rename it to whatever the text is called, I've just called my tutorial because it says tutorial. Then you want to open up the video uh, video effects, you want to open up the layer style and you just want to make it look however you want to look. So I've made it this electric blue, put an out glow on and put a stroke on. Then once those two are done you can just go and hide these for now and then you want to make a new layer and this is what's going to be behind the mask and what you're going to be seeing animated. So in my intro I've got this white gradient going across and for the tutorial I've chosen this blue line. So you can do whatever you want but this is just the blue line and it's the same colour as the blue that's in this tutorial text. Also you want to make sure that whatever image it is it's wider than the text itself just so you don't see any weird blunt edges when you uh, get to animate it. Then once you've got all these done we want to start saving them off so just hide all the other layers apart from your background then you want to save this so you want to, you can save by pressing Control, Alt, Shift and S or simply by going into File, Save for Web. So I'm just going to save this one as background and leave that. So once that's saved you want to hide the background layer and get the tutorial layer visible. Then you just want to save this off. Same thing goes to the line, make sure everything else is um, hidden and just save this one off as well. Then you want to make sure the background layer and the mask text layer is visible. On the mask text on the mask text layer you want to press control and click on the little thumbnail with the T in. That puts a mark here on the text. Then you want to select the background layer and hit delete. Then you want to press Ctrl D to get rid of the marquee, and then you can hide the mask text layer. What this will do then it's just cut this text out of this image of the background. This is what's gonna be our mask. So this line will be behind this layer in Sony Vegas. So if I just hide these ruler lines, you can only see it behind the text, and because it'll be going so quickly it will kind of reveal the text and then you just want to make sure everything else is hidden apart from this background now and then just say this using the same as before. This is it now with Photoshop, you just want to go ahead into Sony Vegas and in Sony Vegas you want to import your four images and make four video layers. I've got one called background, line, mask and final. Also because I only want this intro to be five seconds long I've put a marker there saying end. If you want to put a marker in, simply hit M and then you can type whatever in you want. So I'm just going to put the background on the background layer funnily enough uh, and you want to make sure that's the full five seconds of the clip. You then want to put the mask in on the mask layer. Notice how there's a space between these, that's really important. 
and then you also want to put the scan line in between below the mask layer but above the background layer we then want to make sure that this scan line is around one second long for this tutorial because I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times but I'm just going to make it one second long and then we're going to animate it so what you want to do on the line layer you want to select event pan crop and it'll bring up this box make sure sync cursor is unchecked for now however we'll, we will need this in a second and what I'm going to do is just make this uh, box smaller so the scan line is a little bit bigger because I think I made it a little bit too small in Photoshop. That seems like a good width. So what we want to do now is hit this sync cursor. And we want to put this right at the beginning of the clip. So what I want to do is get, click on the box and use your arrow keys and go upwards. What this is going to do is put this line to the bottom of the text. And we just want to move it just so the line is just below the text. As you can see it's coming to the end now. So maybe one, two more three more and that's now hidden if we go up one it's just there and if we go down one it's hidden so you want it just on the edge of the text then we're going to go midway into the video using the timeline here and press down on the arrow key as you can see the blue line goes up and we just want to again hide it just before the text like that and then same again go to right to the end hit up so it goes down to the bottom and um, it, it did this last time because it's right at the end of the clip you might not be able to see it so it's one of the, uh, if you need to just drag that in one frame go up again so we just can't see it like that and then just make sure this keyframe is dragged right towards the end so you can hit X on this now and as if we play this you can see the scanline goes up down and that's pretty much it so again up and down so I'm going to duplicate this three times so if you press control click on the layer and drag and drop it it duplicates it I want this third time and this one uh, you can see it goes up down up down up and down that's basically the reveal of the text and this third one here is going to be where the transition between this text and the final text comes in so on the final text you just want to make sure it finishes at the end of your intro and starts at the start of the last transition or the last scan line so the tutorial text like I say starts when the final scan line starts and you want to fade it in and you want the fade to finish when the final scan line finishes so this tutorial text fades in for the length of the final scan line and if we play this now you can see it's up down up down and then the tutorial text fades in so for the actual intro for the basis of it that's pretty much it you've got the line behind the mask going up and down and then the tutorial fades in to reveal the final text and obviously you would have your name there and that's pretty much it you can you can have loads of different effects um, mine had my URL and the whole thing actually zooms in if we just look or zooms out so it starts off big and the camera zooms out to reveal the whole thing and we also have the starburst effect which I will show you how to do and you can also do any effects you want so I want this burst to appear around four seconds so I click on the final text layer on around four seconds on the timeline go to the video effects tab and then go to radial blur then what I'm going to do is drag and drop this moderate fixed radius onto the tutorial text layer and you can see it adds this kind of starburst effect then on the strength slider I want to hit this clock and that's the animate button make sure sync cursor is enabled and what I'm going to do is get this marquee not marquee the, uh, the little tab and drag it to uh, around 4 seconds on the video so you can see 4 seconds is here so I'm just going to drag and drop this on 4 seconds then what I'm going to do is go a couple frames back and on the strength I'm going to make sure it's in the zero then I'm going to go to the other side of it and put the strength back down to zero so as you can see by the keyframes here it goes from having no blur to a lot of blur 
and back down to no blur. And look, those happen within three keyframes of each other. So we can close that and if we look at this here, you can see how if I just scrub through the arrow keys, it starts off, the flare gets big, and then back down again. And that's simply, and you can do that with any effects and just animate it. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial, as you can see, just play it through now. You can add loads of things to this, you can add um, sound effects, music, other video effects, more text, more animations, you can add a lot of it, that's just kind of the basis. And if you actually understand how this thing works and how the mask layer works and how, because the mask is above the, the line, it only shows what's on the mask. You can do way, way more stuff, and this is just kind of like the basic tutorial on how to do it. So guys, if this has helped, don't forget to leave a like rating, and if you aren't subscribed, make sure you do so. And if you've got any friends as well who are willing to make an, who are wanting to make an intro, show them this, because if this is helpful to them, and it gives them the basic skills that they need to make, sort of 2D intros in Sony Vegas, then it's helpful for everyone. So like I say, if, you, if this helped you out, and you've actually made the intro, uh, leave a like rating as well. If you upload it to YouTube, leave it as a video as one so I can check them out and um, I can give you some advice maybe on how to improve or what you've done well, that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, if this has helped, leave a like rating. If you're not subscribed, make sure to do so. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Puggism out.